This is the casting for the rim for the one inch mini traction engine. I've mounted it gripping from the inside so that when the web of the rim pushes up against the end of the jaws, it just about gives me enough access to machine the entire outside face. There's quite a bit of material to come off of this casting. I think that's for two reasons. Firstly, probably because it's easier to cast and secondly because the final dimensions have some quite thin parts to them. With the rough casting and no real reference surface, if the casting is not running particularly true, then you may end up with some thin spots on the rim or in the web. So by having excess material, it should be easier to find this shape within this casting. The drawing calls for this raised section in the middle of the rim, and this is to represent the tire tread. The first job is to produce down the diameter of this part to the size of the tread. Aim for 98.42 and it's 98.47. I think I'll leave it at that and then just give it a bit of a polish. I just have to clean this front edge up, it's not far off. So next up I've got to reduce the rim thickness down to dimension and at the same time clean up all the way to the dimension of where the web is going to start. Thank <laughs> you. 
So it's cleaned up the faces, so now I can take measurements from that and I work on that until it gets down to dimension. So we're meant to be 2.77 and we've got 2.74 so we're going to be 7.94 deep and we've got roughly 7.8 depends how you measure it 7.85 that'll do so I'll give the, those edges a deep air and then I need to spin it around and work on the other side So I've been uh, doing this up in the four drawer chuck and I've got it to about where I'm happy. I believe that's moving 0 0.02 of a millimetre. Okay, so we've got that cleaned up on the entire edge, on the entire face, so now just take a dimension and keep going until it's not where I need it to be. So I've gone ahead and created the rest of the tire tread here and then taken away the remaining material here to produce the, the final dimension of the rim and the final thickness of the web. The rim should be about 2.8. Got 2.82, looking for 3.18. Three point two two four. In the end, I measured the other room I'd already done and just cut this to the same dimension so they matched rather than working it out again. That way if I made a mistake I made it twice. Okay, so this is what we ended up with. Technically there's still two operations left to do on these. Firstly, the representation of the tread is meant to have three diagonal grooves uh, cutting it to represent the different pieces of rubber. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet. I kinda like the way they look at the moment and I don't have the the tool for doing that at the moment and rather than rush into it and possibly regret that I think I'll, um, I'll decide further down the line uh, in addition I need to drill some holes around the rim ready for the spokes to go in and I think I'll do that when I'm working on the spokes I want to get an idea of what shape they are 
and how they how they fit into this space. Other than one being more shiny than the other, because I was playing around with sandpaper on it. These are pretty much identical. The outside edge there seems to match the width of the rim and the tire section seems to match. They appear to be the same diameter by eye, which is all you really need with wheel rims, I guess. 